Excited, Alex? No. Yeah, were you closer real quick? What's the first impressions? Four out of ten. Welcome back to another episode of Tabuna Outdoors. So me and Alex, we uh, got on some planes. We kind of like flew over to Arizona. And now we're here looking for sheds. Our plan is we're gonna be here from Monday to Monday. And the goal is to find as many sheds as possible. Anyways, we have um, on a serious, more serious note, we've, we have probably logged about six miles today. Just getting to know the area a little better. Doing some luck and some scouting from you know the best spots to really capitalize on Tuesday, or today's Tuesday, on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Anyways, we'll be telling you basically where to find elk sheds, how to find them, and showing you us finding them. So stay tuned, and I'm sure you're going to see some elk sheds and some ivory. So thanks a lot. <laughs> I think we finally found our first shed. It's about 20 miles later. Does not look fresh. That thing is old. Holy crap. Oh my it's snapped. It... <laughs> about as old as the hills. Yeah. Look at it's all chewed up too and what is it, five by? One, yep, two. five by. Not bad. How long do you think that's been sitting there, Alex? Four or five years. I don't know. Been there a while. No elk, elk shed expert. Been I don't know. Do, do you see your hat? For sure there's an elk in your hat. Oh well. We'll be back with some more sheds, hopefully. Unfortunately, guys, that's the last footage we were able to capture of us shed hunting in Arizona. We looked for the next couple days, we couldn't find any more sheds. So we decided to pack up camp, head out, explore more of the state, and capture some drone footage along the way. Yeah.